Hey there, Dave Nason here again, continuing my look at iOS 14 and what is new, particularly from the perspective of voiceover users. In this one, I'm going to take a look at the new voiceover recognition features and enhancements. It's one of the more hyped new features of iOS 14 for us using voiceover is the new screen recognition aspect of that. So what I'm going to do is go into the settings first and take a look at what's available and what settings we want to set up. And then we'll take a look at some examples of these features in action. So let's start off by going into settings. 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 And then we'll go to accessibility. Accessibility button. Accessibility features help you customize your iPhone to your individual needs. And then voiceover. Zoom off. Voiceover on button. Voiceover on. And then we're looking for something in this list called voiceover recognition. Verbosity. Bu voiceover recognition button. Using on-device intelligence, your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps, images, and text. Voiceover recognition should not be relied upon in circumstances where you could be harmed or injured, in high-risk situations, for navigation, or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. So that's a brief explanation of what voiceover recognition is and Apple's disclaimer about using it. Okay, so as I said, we've got three aspects to this feature now. Um, one of them, screen recognition, is quite is brand new in iOS 14 and the image and text recognition options were there in previous versions of iOS although they are enhanced now and I think working a lot better than they used to um, so let's take a look at those so first of all we've got image descriptions on button image descriptions and it's on for me here and just below that it gives me a description of what that is your iPhone will speak descriptions of images in apps and on the web okay and then we've got Screen recognition on button. The new one, screen recognition. Your iPhone will automatically make apps more accessible by recognizing items on the screen. So it helps make things accessible that maybe weren't before. So this is where maybe you have a screen and nothing on the screen was accessible. You're just getting that ding, ding, ding sound with voiceover and you don't know what's on the screen. What this does is help to pick up some of the items that are on that screen and uh, tell you that they're there and hopefully tell you what they are. Your mileage will vary. It's not a perfect system. It's not a absolutely finished product, I don't think, but it is a huge improvement on where we were before. And you'll, I'll show you some examples of it making a previously completely inaccessible app or area of an app now accessible. Text recognition on. And our third element is text recognition. Your iPhone will speak descriptions of text found in images so that's where there is an image and it has text written on it. It will read it out. And again, this, that's not new, but I think it is working probably a little better than it was on previous versions. So let's go back up to image recognition first and just take a quick look at the settings available. Using on device intelligence, your image descriptions on button. I'm going to double tap. Image descriptions on. So first it gives us another description of what it is. 145.5. Your iPhone will speak sensitive content output heading. So I just skipped over the um, description of what it is. And then we have this sensitive content output. Selected. Speak. Play sound. Do nothing. Indicate if an image may contain sensitive content. So what you can have it do, if you wish, is to tell you if it's recognizing an image and thinks there is sensitive content, it will actually say the words sensitive content, or you can have it play a sound or just do nothing. So that's completely up to you if you want to have that on or not and how you want it to give you that feedback. I find I don't come across it too often, but it is, um, you know, it could be useful depending on your situation. And then if we go past this. Apply to apps button. We have the apply to apps. So we can double tap here. Apply to heading. And this brings me up a screen with an A to Z list of all of my apps on this device. Um, selected one password button. Selected all four. Selected Amazon. But selected Amazon Alexa button. And you'll hear they're all saying selected because image recognition by default when I have it switched on is going to work in all apps. If I wanted to disable it in an app, I just double tap and it will deselect it. Okay, so let's go back. Apply to apps button. Sensitive content output, heading, voiceover recognition, back button, and back again. voiceover, image descriptions, on, button. Now the, t the uh, text recognition also. Your iPhone will automatically make text, your iPhone will voiceover recognition, heading, use, image, your, your iPhone, text recognition, on. This one doesn't have any options, so if I double tap this, this is the switch here. Off. On. Whereas with image recognition and screen recognition, 
the switch is inside the second. Using on device intelligence, image descriptions on your eye, screen recognition on so button. Screen recognition, I double tap. Screen recognition on. 14.9 megabyte used, dim, screen recognition on. And this is where on the next screen where I have the switch and it was the same in the image recognition area. So if I double tap. Off. That's off now. On. And back on. So uh, that's how we toggle it on and off, but I'm going to go right. 14. Your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps that have no accessibility information, such as identifying the state of buttons or toggles, and by grouping related items together. In other apps, screen recognition can be accessed through the rotor. So that's just a more de slightly more detailed description that they're giving us of what it is. Apply to apps button. And again, then we have this apply to apps button and apply to heading. Again, I have an A to Z list of apps, but in this case, they are actually all unselected by default. One password button, all four button. Now, if I wanted to turn screen recognition on by default for any particular app, I would go to that app and double tap to select it. And it would then, when any time I open that app, it will default to being switched on. At the moment, it defaults to being switched off. However, you don't necessarily need to go in here every time you want to change the status of any given app and when it's on or off. And you'll find in some apps, most of the app is fine, but maybe there's only one screen that you need this on. So you don't necessarily want to have it always on or always off on any particular app. And you can actually toggle screen recognition through the rotor. So we'll just pop out of this menu settings. 19, 11, screen recognition, back button, screen, re voiceover recognition, back, voiceover, voiceover, back button, voiceover. Um, settings voiceover recognition we're just going to go down to the rotor options so again we're back in the voiceover menu and i'm going to find rotor voiceover recognition verbosity audio command activity rotor button selected characters actions available and this is where we select which items we want in our voiceover rotor and i'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom braille rows rows 20 to 39 of 39 braille auto advanced reorder selected screen recognition and there we have actions available there we have selected screen recognition so screen recognition is in my rotor and you'll just want to my voice anyway would be to make sure that that is selected in your rotor so you can have quick access to switch it on and off if you turn it on within one app if you're inside an app and you go to the rotor you switch screen recognition on when you leave that app screen recognition goes off again you know what i mean so the setting only applies to the app that you're in at any given time voiceover back button which is a good thing because screen recognition can and it's one of the caveats to it is if you have it on all the time it can mess up things that are accessible and almost make them worse than they would normally be so we just want to be careful and you know if you notice an app isn't working too well check that you haven't accidentally turned screen recognition on and um, if it's an app that previously was working great for you i've uh, fallen into that trap myself so something to be aware of voiceover back button heading not found Voice over button, voice over, back button, voice over. Okay. Rotor. So what we're going to do now is go in and take a look at a couple of examples of these features in action. Settings. So first I'm going to take a look at the App Store. App Store. App Store. Apps. Back button. And here I've opened up um, a particular app, um, fairly much, fairly at random to be honest, um, called My Fitness Pal. And you may be aware that App Store pages have screenshots on them. And previously in iOS, it just said screenshot. And that's all voiceover would tell you. It wouldn't tell you any more than that. Whereas now with the image recognition and actually in this some cases also the text recognition working together on this, it will actually give us descriptions of those screenshots. So let's go to the screenshots section. Artwork, re-download, preview, heading, video, play, button. Screenshot, image, a magazine cover with an image of a person holding a glass of beverage and text on it, possible text, macros and more. Cow. So we got, instead of just hearing screenshot, we got a real descriptive idea of what's going on in that screenshot. And, you know, the person holding a beverage and then it also read some text that's written on that screenshot. So we'll go right to the next one. Screenshot, image, a mobile phone displaying images of food items and text. Okay. Screenshot, image, a menu with an image of a food item and text on it, possible text, plans and recipes for a healthy life. No description available, possible text, scan, barcodes for nutrition facts. OK, 
Okay, so that one did, said no description available, but it did read some text. Screenshot, image, a photo containing a screenshot, possible text. Keep track of what you're eating today. 993. Nine, screenshot, image, a blue and white poster with black and blue text, possible text. Fitness starts with what you, screenshot, image, a photo containing a bowl, a tomato, an oranges, an apple and a lemon. See, that's a pretty cool example of it there. It's telling us, showing us a picture of a fruit bowl and describing even what fruit is in that bowl. So that's a really good example of image recognition in action and some text recognition as well. I'm going to pop back to settings and switch it off for a second so that I can show you an example of, um, of something with and without image recognition. App settings, active settings, commands, audio, verbal, voiceover. Braille button, voiceover recognition, but using on device, using on device intelligence, your iPhone, image descriptions on so button. Go to image descriptions. Select image descriptions this. on. And then on the next screen, we switch it to off. Off. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Google Chrome. App switcher, settings, active, where actions I, available. Where I have done a image search. Apps, song pop, app, Chrome, active, Chrome. Chrome, address and search bar, google.com secure, button. And I did a quick search on the images below in Google Images um, for my uh, my football team, Tottenham Hotspur. So I just want to now tap on some of these images. Tottenham News, Spurs transfer news and London team updates. Image, adult football, grass, adult football, grass. So we got adult football, grass. That's about the extent of the description we got with images. Tottenham Hotspur. Sky Sports Football, Image, Adult, Adult, three hours ago. Tottenham 2020-21, what will be the target for Jose Mourinho and Ellipsis, Image, Adult, Adult, Adult. Okay, so that's the standard of descriptions we're getting without image recognition. Now I'm going to switch image recognition back on. Apps, Setting, Settings, Active, Settings, Image Descriptions, Off, On. Okay, so we've got that back on. I'm going to go back into Chrome. App, Chrome, Chrome, Active, Chrome. And Chrome, address and search bar, google.com. And see if I can find the same images. Airplane mode, switch. Tottenham News, Spurs transfer news and London team updates. Image, a group of people standing on a grassy field. A group of people standing on a grassy field. So this time, instead of just adult and grass, it's saying a group of people standing on a grassy field, which I'm guessing is a football pitch. Tottenham 2020-21, what will be the target for Jose Mourinho and Ellipsis, image, a book cover with a group of people posing for a photo, a book cover with a group of people posing for a photo. So you'll hear that's a lot more descriptive than what we were getting without image recognition. So that's the kind of the difference image recognition makes. Now I'm going to show you some examples of the screen recognition, and this is the big new feature in iOS 14, as I said. So the image recognition I find is working an awful lot better. And actually on image recognition, I would say go into your photos app. If you receive a lot of photos from friends and family, go in and see how detailed the descriptions you get in there are on, um, on photos when you have image recognition on it, it. Some of it is very, very impressive. Of course, it's not perfect by any stretch, but um, they've certainly made big, big strides on image recognition, in my opinion. So now to look at screen recognition, I'm going to look at two examples. App switcher. Settings, active, app store, act, song pop, active, so this actions a, available. This is a game called Song Pop. I'm going to double tap to open it. Song, song pop, email address, text field. So we set her there, email address, text field. And that is all voiceovers picking up on this whole screen. So I'm going to put my thumb down on the screen and move, my, move it around and just show that all I get is the ding sound because it's not picking up anything on the screen at all. Apart from that email address field. Email address. Te so I've explored the whole screen, or if I go to that email field. Email address. Text field. And I try to swipe right or left. Text field. Text field. Nothing. So now I'm going to use my rotor to turn screen recognition on. So like I said, I could go into settings and turn it on for song pop, or I can just use my rotor. So I'm going to turn the rotor till I get to screen recognition. Containers, hints, audio ducking, volume, speaking rate, text selection, words, characters, language, screen recognition, heading, screen recognition. Okay, and I'm going to swipe up or down to switch it on. Screen recognition on for song pop. Okay, now Email let, address. Now let me um, explore the screen again. Sign in with Apple button. 
F. Sign in with Facebook button. Sign in with Apple button. Image and illustration of a person wearing a helmet and holding a gun. So I'm going to swipe left and right through the items on the screen now. So. Song pop two. Song pop two. So that's the top, the very first one. Song pop two. So it's telling me the name. Button. Image and illustration of a person wearing a helmet and holding a gun. Okay, so that one is still a little unsure. It's telling me it's a button and an image um, and it's telling me it's a picture of someone wearing a helmet and holding a gun. So I'm still not entirely clear what that button does, but at least I can actually find that button and select it if I wish. Sign in with Apple button. We have the sign in with Apple button. F. Sign in with Facebook button. Sign in with Facebook button. It said F as well, which I guess is a description of the logo that they have. We will not post without permission. Some information. Or mail. And then we have or mail as an option. Instead of using Apple or Facebook sign in, we can use email. Email address. And then we get that email address field that we had before. Sign in button. Assign Actions button. available. So again, even if previously we had typed in our email address, we would have needed to find this sign in button as well. By starting this game, you agree to our terms of use and privacy policy. And more information. By starting this game, you so agree. You can see the massive difference that that made that uh, setting of turning screen recognition on made to this screen. I went from just being able to see one item, the email address text field, just being able to actually access everything on this screen. Um, so a huge, big difference there. I'm going to check one other example as well. Apps, Chrome, settings, App Store, Deliveroo, active, action, Deliveroo. Deliveroo. Deliveroo, now, grow. So this, of course, is a... Now, Grove Avenue, now, my account, button, delivery, button, pickup, button, table service, dishes, restaurants or cuisines, search field, text field, is editing, dishes, restaurant. And I'm going to type a search into this issue. So most of this app is pretty accessible, to be honest, but I noticed the search area, not so much. So if I type in, say, um, I can just... Piece cap, it. P, cap, P, I, I, Z, 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 A, A. Probably quite a lot of results for pizza but now i'm going to explore this top half of the screen where i have got um my results possibly search Re restaurants heading and i'm going to swipe down through the results and you hear all i'm getting is a click sound i'm not actually getting my results so now let's turn on screen recognition headings containers headings screen recognition screen recognition on for delivery Turn that on, and now... Tiger Wood Fired Pizza, 4.5, 50 plus, bu button. Pizza. Button. Close. Firehouse Pizza, 4.1, 50 plus, bullet around 30 minutes, 4... And it's reading out my results. So again, that's made an app that I normally use, but just had this one screen that is um, inaccessible. Suddenly this is accessible. And that is, again, a big difference that this uh, feature can make. It's not perfect. It's not working everywhere we might want it. It's not, a, um, you know, the ultimate solution to accessibility, but it's definitely a big help when you come across apps that are, uh, that are inaccessible or sections of apps that are inaccessible. And hopefully it will also help developers to realize when they have work to do as well, that if they turn this on versus switching it off, they can say, okay, these are all the elements I need to make properly accessible. So that's the hope anyway with this. That is screen recognition and voiceover recognition. App Store. In iOS 14. So um, I hope you found that useful. Any questions, drop a comment. Please do like, subscribe and share. And you may also know me from AppleViz.com and the AppleViz Extra podcast. And so please do check out uh, AppleViz.com as well for a lot more coverage of iOS 14. Um, both podcasts and text information on our website. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next one. Bye-bye.